Hi everyone, it's been a while I didn't do videos for you. Today we're gonna learn how to do dip. This is one of the five must elements in Vogue Femme. But before we do it, I want to talk with you about one important topic. Vogue has always been a dance of protest. Vogue was invented by transgender and drag black women in order to compete between themselves, have fun, have balls and things like that. So basically, when you're dancing Vogue, you are being a part of a big black culture and this is very important that you understand the basics of ballroom you educate yourself you learn about ballroom and vogue not only as a dance style but also as a community something more than just the dance because vogue for many 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 people is not just a dance, it's a lifestyle. So basically, if you don't support the movement Black Lives Matter, if you think that all lives matter more than Black Lives Matter, if you are racist, basically, you shouldn't dance Vogue, you shouldn't relate yourself to that kind of thing, and it's better that you close this and all of my tutorials and never open them, please. <laughs> After this, let's start with our deep tutorial. <laughs> also, I would like to mention that I'm doing these tutorials completely for free. I'm not making any money on these tutorials. I'm doing them because I wanna help people who cannot go to classes, who live far, who don't have enough information, that you learn and you keep being inside Vogue. You start learning, then you get interested. You eventually walk balls, you make us all impressed by the style that you have but that you have something you can start with and then you can keep getting more information because what I give is really basic but at the same time it's quite helpful <laughs> so element deep is one of the mandatory elements in Vogue fam uh, it's usually done together with spin dip, but I don't think that I'm, I will give any online class on spins unless personal ones, because that's not really appropriate. So we're gonna learn only the dip and three variations of this dip. First variation is when you put your leg, either right or left, doesn't matter the side, in my case, this is left leg. You put your leg that this part looks up, this one is straight on the floor, and your knee is on the floor as well. Don't put it up. If you need, you can put your both legs like this and stretch this part. This is very important. If this is, doesn't hurt, put your way all the way back and stretch this part. But your knee in dip is always on the floor. Then what happens is that with your hands, you slide on the floor, but your chest doesn't go in, it stays up. So you slide chest, then you strengthen your right leg and you put your head down, bam, and nicely return using your abs. <laughs> now, Common mistakes in dip. First is when you do this. Please don't do it. This is very important that your shoulders are back and your chest looks up. 
So this, uh, this, yes. Another mistake is when you raise your knee. Also no. Third mistake. Don't put your head on the floor. You hold yourself with your hands. This, no. Like this. Fourth mistake is when your right leg is like this. No. It's straight. Point. Mistake number six, and this, I hate this one. When you're doing dip, please don't put your head on your shoulder. Your head is in the middle of your hands. Okay, your dip is like this. Don't do that. This is mistake. This is good. After we learn how to properly do a dip in this pose, this is the easiest one. We can complicate it a little and this will be appropriate probably for other Vogue styles like New Way and Old Way, but of course you can use it in Vogue Femme as well. So right now what happened is that your left leg was on the floor. In my case left, it can be right, doesn't matter right now. So you was on the floor, this part, this part, and your ass is on the floor. What can be is second option of dip is when your left leg is under your ass, but everything else is the same. You just do the dip. So this part of my feet, like this, is laying on the floor just like that. And my ass is sitting here. There. What happens after is that all the same. This is more complicated. And the third variation of deep element is when your feet is on your toes and you go back the same way. Please don't raise your knee. In this dip, um, you could also put your leg on the floor. This doesn't look bad. It can be up like I did. Uh, in old way, this dip can be done a different way. It's called king side, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry if I am, but it's done to the side. So like that. And supposedly you are meant to be all in one line, not, not like this, but like that. And you don't necessarily need to touch the floor with your hand. So what I would do is just stay in one line and do this, and this is deep in all the way. In fam, I doubt it a lot, don't do it. Just like that. But if you are you have a good stretching, you could go down and up, but keep an eye that your feet are closed. You don't do this, this, you're meant to be in between two lines like if you were closed in a very thin closet. If you're doing all the way, that's for you. Also, in this inside, you can put your leg to you, it can be up, it depends on your abilities. Basically, that's it. After that, you can complicate the elements and make them personalized because for example, if you are doing well the dip, going straight to the back, you have enough stretch. What you could do is uh, proper dip is not done to the back. Proper dip you do a little bit to the side. You do a contortion here. So you don't go back, you go a little bit to the camera, let's say. Pa, pa. 
but your head stays in the middle of your hands. We don't do the shrimp, we keep it in the middle, but you could turn it to see the camera or the judges. Another variation of dips is when you do dip and you put your feet here on your knee instead of strengthening it. So, and while really, uh, important part of dip is actual spin because you, it's a element that is called spin dip and dip is the last part. So also there is a spin in the beginning and then you actually dip. Please don't forget to like, share, repost, follow my channel. If you still didn't do it, it's very important that you follow my channel. On the future videos, uh, we're going to do a um, tutorial for warm-up because for me, warm-up is very important before you start actually voguing, especially doing Vogue Fam. <laughs> I really, really, really recommend you before every of my tutorials warm up if you don't do it um, probably in one week or so I will publish a new video it will be about the warm up so keep an eye on it and lastly for all of those who made it to the end of this video I am going to give to a giveaway uh, I will give away a free personal online class with me via zoom or facetime whatever works better for you what you need to do is within the months of July, send me your video practicing any of my uh, tutorials, showing me your skills. You can do one element, you can do two elements, uh, or you can do the whole performance. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you send me your video. I'm gonna leave my email here and below so you can send me your video. You can also do it via Facebook or Instagram. And in August already, I will upload one video talking about your um, achievements, showing your mistakes and what you did well on your videos, um, and also giving away a free personal class with me. So I am really looking forward for all of your videos. Um, share, like, repost, <laughs> and uh, I hope you like this uh, tutorial. I'm really looking forward to seeing your videos. Uh, they can be up to one minute long, so they're not too long. And uh, bye! <laughs>